What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a phone tree inside of Go High Level. We're gonna be doing this setup using the new IVR feature that Go High Level just came out with. IVR stands for Interactive Voice Recognition, which are basically just the recorded robot voices that you get anytime you call a big corporate company. So we're just gonna jump right into Go High Level, set it all up, and then we'll test it out live at the end. All right, so first off, inside of your sub account, inside of High Level, you're gonna to need to buy a phone number. So you're gonna go down to settings, you're gonna go down to the phone numbers tab, and then you're gonna to need to get a phone number. If it's a phone number that's local in your area code, you're gonna to have to go through the A2P verification, which is underneath the trust center right here. You have to go through a form, fill it out, and then you have to wait a couple days to become verified so that you can start sending texts and making phone calls with your phone number. Um, if you guys wanna do this quicker and test this out faster, you can just buy a toll-free number. You can click add number right here and we'll just click add phone number. And then uh, we can go and we can click filters here. We can toggle off mobile and local and we'll just have toll free checked and then we can apply that and we can get like an 800 number. And these ones are a lot easier to verify. You just fill out a quick form and then you can immediately start sending texts and making calls with these. Um, but this is the first thing you're gonna have to do is get a phone number. I already have my phone number and it says I'm A2P verified. So now I'm gonna jump back in under my automation tab in my sub account. I'm gonna find this automation that I built out. Well, I actually didn't even really build out the whole thing because if you go up to create workflow right here, you can scroll down and you can select this recipe IVR right here and you can hit select and it already has the majority of this automation I'm about to show you built out. Um, and so if you select that, I'll show you, it kind of pops up with pretty much everything set up. You have to add a few things in here, but uh, yeah, anyway. I'm gonna go back to my other one because I already had one set up that I was going in and I'd published already and I added a few things to it. So this is kind of how the automation works. So the trigger event is an inbound call, right? So we get a call. Um, the workflow trigger is start IVR trigger. Um, you can find this trigger. I mean, you really don't have to do this because you have the whole template like I just showed you, but to find it, it's down here at the bottom inside of your automations and it's gonna be the start IVR trigger right here, but we already have it, so it's not gonna let me select it. Then from here, we have a welcome message to the caller. So it says, you know, welcome message to caller is our action name, and then the say or play message, we're gonna do say message. So Go High Level already has a recorded robot voice for a woman, and I think also a man. So you can select right here if you want the man or the woman. We have the woman selected and then you can type out the message you want the robot to say. The voice is decent, it's not the greatest, so if you wanted to play a message, you could also record it yourself, and you can upload an MP3 file in here of you saying these different messages instead of the robot voice, if you don't like the robot voice. Um, but anyway, we're just gonna go to um, say the message. In this message, you can type out whatever, and the robot can read this out to the person that's on the phone. Hello, welcome to Advanced Selling System. So that's the intro message, right? That's the first thing we say. Um, and then we just leave number of loops at one and then that's all set up. And then the next part right here is where we actually ask them what buttons they wanna press to get to certain places in our business or talk to certain people. And so this action name is called collect input from the caller. And then we have say a message. It says press one to hear the list of services, press two to leave a voicemail or press three to talk to our team. So it gives them three options. They can click one, two, or three. It's still the woman's voice. Number of loops is one. Right here, you wanna set this to about 10 seconds. I recommend um, you wanna give them, you know, a solid amount of time to like, if they're up here with their phone, to pull it down, actually click the button that they wanna go to. Um, if you do it like five seconds, that might be too fast and they might not be able to press it in time. So give them a decent amount of time, 10 to 15 seconds should be fine before it'll say like, you know, it'll time out and then stop gathering after they click one digit. So whether they click one, two or three, it'll stop gathering and it'll go down to the next step, which is this step right here, which is just an if else statement. So this one you'll find by typing in if else and adding this and you have to create a couple different branches here. But this one looks like this, press one, you're gonna select digits and then is and then one. And the way that you do this is right here under digits. 
you need to make sure it matches the step right above it, which is this number one collection input from the collar. So just make sure you've selected that because later down the line, if you have multiple, there's gonna be multiple options here. Just make sure it's the one right above it. And then digits is one, digits is two, or digits is three. So whether they press one, two, or three, now we have these three different branches. And then we have the none branch, meaning if they didn't press anything after 10 seconds, we wanna keep going down this none side. Um, anyway, press one, it'll do their list of services and it'll say, you know, here's the list of services we're being catered by our business, uh, website development, uh, business automation, marketing services, and our CRM software. So I typed all of that out there, number of loops, just one, everything else the same here. Or then after that, after I list the services out there, the robot lists those services, we then have another message, which is gonna be gather input on call. That's the action type. I say, please press one to be connected with a specialist, or if you wish to hang up, please do so now. So we just give them the option to either press one here, which is our only branch that we need to set up, because if they don't press anything and they just hang up, we're fine, we don't really need to worry about it anymore. But if they press one, then we have this step called call connect IVR. So it'll actually connect the call to your phone and you'll get a call from this person and it can connect to multiple users. So you can set up like multiple different phones and different people that these calls can be connected to. And so you can do it that way. And then under this press two option up here, as we go back up here, um, our press two option, as we remember, was press two to leave a voicemail. So that one will just go to this step that's called record message from caller, which if I click the little plus sign here, you can see that's all the way down here at the bottom. Record, um, or it's gonna be record voicemail right here. So we have that set up right here. Woman, voice, one loop, please record. And the message says, please record your message once you've recorded your message. Uh, please press the pound symbol to mark it complete. And then um, after that voicemail has been left, it will stop recording after five seconds of silence if they don't say anything um, or it'll stop on the pound key being pressed. We give them 360 seconds after that, it'll just hang up. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's how that's set up. And then if they go down number three, which as if we can remember, it says number three, press three to talk to our team. Then it goes down and it connects the call again. So as the connect call IVR, and then underneath this none branch, if they don't press anything within 10 seconds, because the timeout that we set was 10 seconds here, stop gathering after 10 seconds, it'll go down this, which then says when no condition is matched, uh, say slash play this, you have not entered a valid input. Please listen to the options again and make a valid selection. And then from here, all I did was I copied what was right here. So I just clicked this action right here. Copy, copy all actions from here. I deleted what was here inside of the uh, pre-built template. I didn't use the exact pre-built template. And I just pasted from right here, copy all actions from here. And I just pasted it right here underneath this one. So now, it basically just repeats all over again. So it goes down, you know, please press one uh, or press one to hear our list of services, press two to leave a voicemail or press three to talk to our team. And then it kind of just goes down the same thing again. And so you can loop this as many times as you want. Once we've done that, I can copy this again from here, paste it down here again and keep doing that as many times as you see fit. But after a few times, if no one's like saying anything or pressing anything, then we can just hang the phone up and they'll have to call us back. But yeah, this is how to set everything up here. Like I said, you do need to get a phone number. Oh, and at the top as well, you need to select the phone number. So if you have like multiple phone numbers inside of your Go High Level account, you need to select the one that triggers. So this would be the number you might put out on your Google business listing if people are looking at you on Google Maps or on your website. This will just be like your main business line for your company and uh, you'll be able to select from your different numbers that you have inside of your sub account. I only have one, so only one pops up here. Just make sure you've added that in under the filters and uh, you'll be good to go. And now I'm gonna test this out and show you guys what it sounds like when I try calling this number from my phone. 
Hello, welcome to Advanced Selling Systems. Press 1 to hear the list of services, press 2 to leave the voicemail, or press 3 to talk to our team. Here is the list of services which are being catered by our business. We offer business automation, website development, marketing services, and our CRM software. Please press 1 to be connected with a specialist. Or if you wish to hang up, please do so now. So now it's calling me because I have my call forwarding set up to my phone. So now if I answer, I'll literally just be talking to myself. But yeah, so I pressed one to connect to somebody and that's what it's doing now. So anyway, I'm gonna hang that up. And uh, so that's how it works. And uh, it's pretty cool. The robotic voice doesn't sound great. I haven't tested out the man's voice yet. So maybe the man's voice sounds better. It does pronounce the words that we've typed out pretty good. Um, but maybe instead of having the robot voice, you can just upload your own file and have somebody from your company that has a little bit of a louder voice, stronger voice, um, have the recorded messages and all the other steps will work the same. You just need to add in your own recorded MP3 file and you'll be good to go. Well, there you have it, guys. If you haven't started using Go High Level yet, you can get a 30 day free trial of it down below this video through my affiliate link. And if you sign up with that link down below, I will help you set up this IVR campaign for your business or your agency. And I'll just help you learn Go High Level, set up everything inside of your account and get it ready to rock for your business. You can also access my free AI agency masterclass down below if you're looking to start an agency using Go High Level. That is the best place to start. I put over 100 hours into that course. It's the real deal. So check that out down below as well. Other than that, I hope this video was valuable. I appreciate your guys' time. I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.